when you think of the Amazon, you think of amazing birds, and that's exactly what it's like. There's this tremendous amount of bird life down there, many of which are very, very strange and unique. This is called the Hawatsin, and they are, can be found around the little lakes and rivers. It's called the Cock of the Rock, and this is Peru's national bird. If you ever go down to Peru, you'll see three things. You'll see pictures of Machu Picchu, you'll see a bunch of carved llamas everywhere that everyone's trying to sell you, and then you will see postcards of Cock of the Rocks, and they really love these guys down there. They're about the size of a crow, and they're one of the strangest birds I've ever seen. This is a spoonbill. We have these here in North America as well, um, and they use this sort of spatula-shaped bill to side through the water and capture little invertebrates. One of my favorite photos that I've taken recently is this long-tailed tyrant coming down from a tree branch. So also birds like this, the trogon, the masked trogon, that they sit and wait. Unlike many other birds that are actively seeking out their prey, they sit and they wait for these moths and beetles to fly past. And they don't often move when you get close to them. I've had a few encounters when I'll be walking down a trail and sort of stop and look up, and there's this thing looking down at me, thinking it's seen the world's biggest moth looking down the trail. They're really quite amazing. These are called horn screamers, and this is a real bird. This is not pieced together. This is not a narwhal, <laughs> uh, some kind of gorilla, and I don't know what else, but these birds exist, and they're totally the unicorns of the bird world. Um, yeah, horn screamers, and they are about this big. They're about the size of a big turkey, and they can be found around oxbow lakes and marshes. 